Today's challenge. Today we'll be remaking the Undertale's Megalomania from Little Undertale. This song is infamous and famous at the same time. It is like super cool and I like it a lot. I already made it like 600 times when I was like 12. So now we're gonna remake it again. But this time we have a time limit. A time limit of nine minutes. If we could remake the entirety of Megalovania in nine minutes, I'd get nothing but the satisfaction of making this cool video with a cool timer. That's what I will make. Anyways, if you're excited about this video, uh, watch the whole video. All right, we're gonna get Megalovania done. 10, 20 minutes. We got this, everybody. I'm, I'm holding it out to all my homies on Earth. Uh, all right, let's go. Set a timer now. Did you know that Megalovania has four different versions of the song made by Toby Fox? The first version was from his Earthbound Halloween hack, in which Dr. Andonuts uh, is mean, I guess, and goes crazy. Previously, he was trying to import the song Megalomania from Alive Alive, but he couldn't make it sound good. So what he did instead was that he made a song inspired by Brandish's Gatto Batador. With these two inspirations, he created the first ever version of Megalovania. The second version was for Homestuck, and a theme song for both, I guess, Vriska and Aradia, I guess. It played for both of them, and they both used the motifs, I think. I think Vriska slightly more, but whatever. The most famous version is the one from Undertale, and, like, opinion for me, I liked the home stuck one better because honestly, I liked that fucking shredded guitar. And uh, the one, the Megalovania one didn't have that. And also the drums sounded really weird. They sound really cramped for some reason. I don't, I don't know what drums that Toby uses now, but like in the past, they sounded better, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's weird. The final version was the one that mixes all three of them together, basically. The one for Smash Bros, in which he brings back the Shredder's guitar. And it sounds awesome. I would definitely give all of them a listen. Also, um, little side note. There was another version of Megalovania that was made for another Halloween hack. And I don't know if this was made by Toby himself, but it is the a version that was made, like, before the Homestuck version, I think. It's, a, it's from the hack uh, Cognitive Dissonance, and it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. This. Now, I don't know why they wouldn't do something like this. Because that's a cooler somewhere, but you know. Just... I, mean, I, I guess that's better. Uh, anyways, put it like this. A good little D beat, punk beat. I don't know what it is. 
It's, it's a lot of fun, you know, and then it gets even funner. Okay, so a lot of this is really boring, so time skip! <laughs> Explain it, just bang it out. Trombones. Two minutes. Dang. Dos minutos. All right, so let's just uh, let's skip to the point where uh, this just skip from stuff. Yep. Let's finish it up. Let's finish this up. All right. As I Drop in the last little bits. Just wrap her up. This is a brief maneuver. There you go. 
and then back and we're, we're on the home stretch. Last 20 seconds, 25. 20. There. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I did it! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! Woo! Alright, let's okay, listen. Let's listen to it. Hold on. Uh, just, no, just no. Listen. Stop laughing! Finish your homework! You're laughing too much!